Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Monday, October 5th, 2015, around 4.02 in the afternoon in Dark, Massachusetts. Mixing sun and clouds today. Highs reach 60, and it's, it's kind of a little bit of a, like, a sad day because of the weather, but it's going to be nice uh, this week. More sun than clouds the rest of the week, and a warm-up to, to like s high 60s, low 70s. Some news to report. Yankees pitcher CC Sabathia has checked himself into an alcohol rehab center, so prayers to him. And also, it's official, the Miami Dolphins fired their coach Joe Philbin, and, uh, and Matt Williams of the Washington Nationals manager has been fired along with the whole coaching pitching staff. And um, Florida Panthers forward Yaramir Yaga is growing back his mullet. The last time he had his mullet was the late 1990s and stuff. So congratulations to Yaga having his mullet back. It's making a comeback. Maybe mullets will be making a comeback as well. That's about it on the news. My second video blog subject of the day is about my take on an NFL team permanently located in London, England. The NFL has been has been playing like a, a lot of regular season games in London and stuff. The history of the NFL and playing games in London goes back to the 1980s when they played exhibition games at Wembley Stadium. Those exhibition games got very successful in the, in the 1990s and 2000s. There was an World League of American Football Team in London, England, and then the World League, and eventually NFL Europe, they had a uh, football team in London, and, and all of it was pretty successful. Since 2007, the NFL has been staging at least one regular season game in London, England, and it's been very successful at Wembley Stadium. There's supposed to be a new stadium opening up in 2018, which will host more um, NFL games, maybe th four or five a year. The Jacksonville Jaguars are going to be playing one game a year in London, giving up a home date uh, until, like, I think the year 2017 and stuff. And there's been talk that they really want to have a uh, NFL franchise in London, England permanently and stuff like that. But there's a lot of obstacles to have to be involved in that. First of all, it's the travel and stuff because teams will have to like go over overseas and stuff. And, and usually the teams that go overseas to play in London get a buy the next week. So th they would have to do the schedule. That would be a schedule complicated. Second reason, second thing is the many of the players that might not want to take up um, residencies in London, England for a few months of a year and stuff like that because it would be logistics and stuff like that. Third thing is it's competitive. How successful is an NFL team in London going to be? Is it going to be a winning team or a losing team and stuff like that? Plus, is the fans going to show up if it's a losing team each year Year after year after year after year. That's something to consider and stuff like that. Plus, another logical thing is they'll have to, you know, readjust the schedule for times because it's a five-hour difference from London, England to New York and stuff. So they might have to be playing a lot of, like, night games there and stuff like that. And also, another reason why an NFL team in London might be iffy at best is they'll be the only ones playing in Europe. And there's no plans for the NFL to, like, expand over to Europe full-time and stuff. And that might be very logical. But I have somewhat of a funny feeling that you that the NFL is really pushing hard to get a, per a team permanently in London. And I think... Our chances of that is about 75 to 80 percent. Roger Godel, the NFL commissioner, probably really wants an NFL team in Europe. And he's going to get it, in my opinion, and stuff. Then I think there's definitely going to be an NFL team in Europe, in London, England, within the next five years and stuff. I think...
there'll be one in Los Angeles as well. They they would have to like we do the divisions and stuff, but it's gonna happen, in my humble opinion. There'll be an NFL team in London, England, and that's about it on that. I'll be back with the third and final video blog of the night, which will be about the voice of the WWE, Michael Cole. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Potter guy. Molly Rosenblatt of Fox 35 in Orlando, Florida rocks and has very nice legs. Amy Swimsey, so, so stunning. Elizabeth Hart of Local 6 rocks. And in the words of Sean Lucha, get out. See you later, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Bye.